AI tools are getting more and more advanced these days. In this video, I'm comparing two of the most powerful presentation tools available right now, Gamma App and PowerPoint Copilot. Let's dive into this comparison. First, let's take a look at Gamma App. It offers a pretty intuitive interface, and I can decide how I want to create a presentation. I can either paste text, type in a prompt to have the AI generate the slide deck, or import a file or URL. For this comparison, I start with the Generate option. Gamma allows me to create a presentation, a web page, or a document. I choose Presentation. I can specify how many slides, or cards as Gamma calls them, I want, and select the format. I go with the traditional 16 by 9 format, I type in my prompt, and click Generate Outline. Here it is. The outline lets me rearrange topics, edit them, adjust how much text appears on each slide, and add parameters to customize the deck. Advanced settings let me define the audience, ton of voice, and more. Next, I choose a theme. Gamma offers several options. I go with the dark theme and click Generate. The cards are created in real time, and I really like the overall style and aesthetic. It's visually appealing. Every element is editable. I can change the text, add more, or shorten it manually. On the right-hand side, I see options to edit the deck manually. Multimedia, text, layout options, and more. Alternatively, I can edit the deck using AI. At the top left corner of each card, there's a drop-down menu with editing options. Once I'm satisfied, I can share and export the deck. A standout feature is that I can export it as a PowerPoint file, making it editable later in PowerPoint. Now I switch to PowerPoint and ask Copilot to create a presentation on the same topic. Using the same prompt, here's the proposed deck. There are more slides, but I must say, I am disappointed. The design proposition is underwhelming. While the text is decent, the design, layout, and overall look feel very basic, too old school compared to Gamma's offering. If I ask Copilot for adjustments, it's often not very helpful. It's important to understand that PowerPoint has two separate AI tools, Copilot for content creation and Designer for layout and design suggestions. Let's see what Designer proposes. Unfortunately, the options are still very basic, leaving me to make manual adjustments. Now I return to Gamma app and try generating a new presentation. At this time, Instead of using a default theme, I use a custom theme with my branding. Gamma offers two options for implementing branding. I choose the option to import an existing file. All I need to do is upload a PowerPoint template, make a few adjustments, upload my logo, and it's ready. Next, I generate a presentation, but this time not from a prompt, but based on a prepared content. You might not know this, but I have a blog where I share insights on presentation and communication. For this test, I use a blog post about antithesis, a powerful rhetorical device. No, it's not a name for a disease. I copy the URL, and paste it into Gamma.
the draft appears, but all the content is condensed into one card, which I don't like. I manually distribute the content across multiple slides. And let's generate the slide deck. Even with adjustments, the resulting deck isn't as visually appealing as I'd hoped. I try tweaking the layout. Adding images and media. and even asking the AI for further adjustments. Now I upload the same blog content into PowerPoint via Copilot. All I need to do is to upload the file with the text. The resulting slides are different but still lack quality in design. I turn to Designer for help, and while it provides more diverse options, None of them feel professional enough. Again, while the text may be solid, the design is disappointing. Returning to Gamma app, you might have seen demos showcasing stunning slides creating with these tools. Yes, Gamma can produce great visuals. But it's important to note that these demos often feature visually engaging topics like the universe, travel, fashion, or cooking. Topics with high visual impact. But will your typical financial or business presentation look as impressive? That's something to consider. Overall, Gamma App is better in terms of design. However, PowerPoint remains the most robust tool for manual deck creation. As of now, creating a truly professional presentation still requires your hands and your head. Let's stay in touch. If you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe and comment. If you're interested in corporate training on presentations, feel free to reach out.